Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Butch Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with a review of the Peugeot 308 GT line, including a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the Hyundai Elantra and the Honda Civic as they go head-to-head. -head. We'll also have the latest developments in the local auto industry, as well as the highlights of the recently held Isuzu Media Test Drive to scenic Cagayan Valley. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. For your favorite car models and stand the chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your automobile of the year in this year's autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Creating an engine is like creating a great perfume. You need to select the best ingredients and combine them in a unique way. So it gives you a feeling you'll remember for the rest of your life. Peugeot 308 with Blue HDI and Turbo Petrol engines. Tough? Do you dare to go off-road or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough the to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. Your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Peugeot. Can one have fun in a humble hatchback? Well, the folks at Peugeot believe that you can. After driving the gas-powered 308 last year, we were impressed with its blend of comfort and its athletic abilities. While that was a brief test, it's time for the Peugeot 308 to take on its toughest challenge yet real-world driving. <sighs> P 
Peugeot may be a relatively small player in the market, but they are definitely not holding back when it comes to their product lineup. With a mix of French chic, stylish designs and a premium feel, Peugeot cars bridge the gap between the mainstream and luxury cars. This is fully embodied in the 308 hatchback. Let's start with the looks. By French standards, the 308 is on the conservative side. Unlike the quirky-looking 5008 and 3008, the 308's design sets it firmly as a hatchback. But that doesn't mean it's boring. It's still a handsome-looking car with its upswept headlights, subtle body creases, and the unique taillight arrangement. It gives the 308 a classy look that somehow retains its Gallic charm. Also, the headlight and taillight arrangement look especially distinct at night, as if it leaves a signature where it drives by. More of these French touches can be seen inside. For starters, the dashboard layout is what Peugeot calls eye cockpit. In theory, it gives you a better view of the road ahead by setting the steering wheel low and the gauges a little higher. The desired result varies depending on the driver's height. Taller drivers might have a part of the instrument cluster covered by the steering wheel, but for those of average height, it really does give better forward visibility. That quirk aside, the 308 is a cozy place to sit in with its supportive and well-padded seats, as well as its air conditioning that can be set to as low as 14 degrees. As for space, there's a lot in from and about average for the segment at the rear. The rear sets to recline for more comfort and with its relatively upright roofline, there's a good amount of headroom too. Open the hatch and you're greeted by a large cargo floor that's as square and flat as possible to maximize usable space. Peugeot also tried to minimize dashboard clutter by putting most of the controls in one touch screen. The screen displays a vehicle status, entertainment options, your mobile phone book, and even the air conditioning controls. While it gives the dash a minimalist look, it does mean you have to shuffle between screens to do the various functions. Still, it gives the car that bit more character compared to its mainstream alternatives. Under the hood of the 308 is a 1.6-liter turbocharged gas engine Peugeot simply calls THP. It put out to 150 PS and a healthy 240 Nm of torque. It then shifts via a 6-speed automatic transmission. While the stats won't initially impress, one must drive it first before coming to a conclusion. The way the 308 delivers its power is immediate, almost as if it makes several more horsepower than advertised. Thanks to the turbocharger kicking in early, the 308 feels like a 2.0-liter engine car to drive but without the fuel penalty. That kind of performance should be backed up by sweet handling and, on that front, the 308 delivers as well. Turn and felt sharp, even a little sporty, when you drive it in a spirited manner. There was a lot of confidence in braking too, offering a lot of bite to scrub off speed. Remember one of the car's primary safety features is its handling and a good handling car is a safe car. Even with its fun to drive nature, the 308 still soaks up bumps pretty well. While the low-profile tires suggest otherwise, road imperfections do not upset the chassis and the passengers inside. Only a muffled thump lets you know you ran over some rough bit of road. To sum up, the Peugeot 308 is a car for those who think outside the box. If you do choose this car, you'll be rewarded by a fun-to-drive hatchback with a near-luxury feel inside. For those who side with logic, you get a versatile, practical car that's easy on fuel. The Peugeot 308 is unconventional in some ways, but it is proud to be unique. This car not only appeals to the eccentric folks, 
but also to the logical ones by combining the elements of what makes a car French and what makes a car good, Peugeot has successfully managed a balancing act to come up with an excellent all-rounder. The latest industry news and developments right after this break. Vote for your favorite car models and stand a chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your Automobile of the Year in this year's Autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient for a smooth journey. And sleek design for you. The all new Honda Mobilio. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road? Or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just a click away. Welcome back to Autofocus and we now have the latest auto industry news. Ford Philippines recently headed to Tanay Rizal with select members of the motoring media for a test drive event that focused on the power and reliability of the Ford Everest. So today we went on an off-road adventure, a road trip that allowed us to test the capabilities of the Ford Everest. It's something that we're really very excited about to see and to put the Everest to test. So we went to uh, Tanay for actually a good road trip, off-road adventure. And uh, actually we saw how Everest was able to successfully maneuver uh, all those muddy roads and all those terrains. On board all the 3.2L Ford Everest variants, each team had three to four passengers in each vehicle. The group had an off-road experience which started in Libis, Quezon City, all the way to Tanay Rizal. The thrill of the test drive included swapping of drivers among each team in predetermined stops along the route. So in this road trip adventure, what we did was to really showcase the 4x4 capabilities of Ford Everest as well as some of its best-in-class features, specifically the terrain management system and the hill descent feature no? because we were actually going up and down some muddy hills and muddy roads so we were able to test and fully realize how these features are very powerful for all these uh, adventures. Through the test drive activity, Ford Philippines says that they recognize the customer's need for a more immersive experience with the Everest to showcase its key features that make it one of the top nameplates for Ford. 
So we'd like to invite the viewers uh, to actually test and see for yourself and experience a Ford Everest. So you can visit a uh, Ford dealership near you and see how you can experience extraordinary adventures only with the Ford Everest. Meanwhile, Sangyong Berjaya Moro Philippines, the exclusive distributor of Korean-made Sangyong vehicles in the country, announces an all-new program to keep all locally sold Sangyong vehicles in tip-top condition. Sangyong now offers free parts and labor for periodic maintenance service for up to three years or 60,000 kilometers. In addition, every brand new Sangyong vehicle also now comes with a five-year vehicle warranty as a standard. Sangyong adds that the value-added package applies to all Sangyong vehicles sold from November 2016 onwards. Sangyong owners may visit their respective dealerships and have their vehicles serviced from the first 1,000 km checkup to 60,000 km or within the period of three years, whichever comes first, free of charge. In addition to this offer, Sangyong Berjaya Moro Philippines guarantees that older generation Sangyong vehicles sold locally are also being accepted for servicing in their Quezon Avenue and Cebu dealerships. The uh, company's aim is not only to provide Filipinos with uh, high quality, affordable cars, but also to strive to deliver total customer satisfaction by uh, you know, ensuring them the top level service to make owning a Sangyong vehicle a pleasing experience. And uh, if I may add also that when you buy a Sangyong vehicle, you are not just buying the vehicle, but you are also buying a peace of mind. Because, you know, we believe that the implementation, our implementation of that three-year free PMS or 60,000 kilometers, whichever comes first, and the extension from three years manufacturer's warranty to five years is a good start in achieving this goal. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. For your favorite car models and stand the chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your automobile of the year in this year's autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Creating an engine is like creating a great perfume. You need to select the best ingredients and combine them in a unique way. So it gives you a feeling you'll remember for the rest of your life. Peugeot 308 with Blue HDI and Turbo Petrol engines.
Your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. Welcome back to this edition of Auto Focus. We'll have more news about the auto industry still up ahead, but in the meantime, here's our feature to feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. Stylish, well-equipped, and dynamic, the modern compact sedan is a far cry from what it was in the past. Now more upmarket, these cars have a tough job of having to appeal to more demanding consumers, as well as fight the wave of crossovers. Up to the task are two sedans from Honda and Hyundai, the Civic and Elantra. These capable sedans are on the spotlight on this week's Head to Head. For this week's Head to Head, we pit two compact sedans from Japan and Korea with the Honda Civic and Hyundai Elantra. Both may start with the letter H, but the two are distinct in their own way. Let's get started by taking a look under the hood. We begin with the Honda Civic and it is available with two engine options. The first is a 1.8-liter iVTEC engine with Earth Dreams technology. It produces 141 PS and 174 Nm of torque, which powers from the front wheels. Powering the top-of-the-line model is a smaller but more powerful turbocharged 1.5-liter iVTEC engine, also with Earth Dreams technology. The result of this turbocharging is 172 PS and 220 Nm of torque. Also with two engine options is the Hyundai Elantra. The range starts with a 1.6-liter Gamma engine with 128 PS and 154 Nm of torque. As for the top-of-the-line model, it is powered by a naturally aspirated 2.0-liter NU engine, bumping power up to 152 PS and 192 Nm of torque. Like the Honda, it too is front-wheel drive. The two differ when it comes to transmissions. In the Elantra, it is available with a 6-speed manual but only for the entry-level model. Move up the range and a 6-speed automatic becomes the standard transmission. As for the Honda Civic, it only comes with a continuously variable transmission and gains paddle shifters on the top spec model. Inside, the two take different approaches when it comes to cabin design. In the Elantra, it bases its look on the Sonata, its bigger sibling. It adapts Hyundai's T-shaped fascia for its dashboard, which is tilted towards the driver for a driver-centric layout. All Elantra variants get fabric trim seats as well as soft touch materials for its dash. Manual air conditioning is standard on the entry level and mid range model, while top of the line variant gets automatic climate control and rear vents. Push button start is standard in the range topper, while the rest use is a key. Moving to the Honda Civic, it follows a sportier look. The dashboard and the door panels wrap around the driver and front passenger. Silver inlays can also be seen throughout the cabin of the car, and instead of piano black trim, the Civic gets fa aluminum. Entry-level Civics come with fabric seats, while the turbo model gets leather. The turbo model also gains power seats for the driver, and all models get automatic climate control. Honda went for a digital display for the all-new Civic and integrates vehicle status all in one screen. Standard on all Honda Civics comes is a 7-inch display audio touchscreen. It serves as the infotainment system and packs wireless telephone connectivity via Bluetooth. The system also supports mirror linking with a mobile device. Sound is channeled through six speakers throughout the cabin. 
depending on the variant, the Hyundai Elantra has three audio systems available. The base model gets a 2 DIN stereo with CD player, while moving up the range upgrades that stereo to accommodate the USB and aux-in features. Only the top-level model gets a 5-inch monitor with CD, USB and aux-in. It gets four speakers in the base and mid-spec trims, while the 2.0-liter variants come standard with six. The 10th generation Civic breaks away from the traditional family sedan look. Featuring the solid wing face design, it gets an aggressive front fascia with the sharp LED headlamps. The new Civic is shaped now more like a fastback with a roof line that merges into the trunk. The aggressive look of the new Civic is further highlighted by contoured front fenders, sculpted hood and a sporty bumper. Breaking traditional sedan looks, the rear section gets C-shaped taillights that now extend over the trunk, a new rear bumper, and revamped trunk design. 16-inch wheels are seen on the entry-level model, while the turbo variants are upsized to 7-inch rims. Moving to the Elantra, it features the brand's current design language. Dubbed Fluidic Sculpture 2.0, it is said that it focuses on aerodynamics with its swooping lines and upswept styling elements. The signature hexagonal grille defines its front fascia and defined edges. Aiding in aerodynamics are the C-shaped intakes that lets air flow through the wheels. The side is defined by two character lines, one near the window and the other by the bottom of the doors. At the rear, it retains the signature long wraparound taillights as seen in its predecessor. The entry-level Elantra Ryzen 15-inch alloys and the mid-spec model is one 16-inch alloys. Top-spec Elantras get 17-inch alloy wheels. Both cars pack a comprehensive list of safety equipment. Base models come equipped with dual airbags and anti-lock brakes as standard. On top of those, the Civic also adds vehicle stability assist, heel hold assist plus a reverse camera. Top spec models then gain side airbags and side curtain airbags. As for the Elantra, the 2.0-liter model adds the rear park assist system and rain-sensing wipers. A wide variety of models can be chosen for the Civic and the Elantra. For the Hyundai, there are four variants to choose from, starting with the 1.6 GL6MT, which then moves up to the 1.66 GL8T. More equipment can be found in the 1.6 GL6AT, limited and serving as the range top is the 2.0 GLS6AT. Moving on to the Civic, there are two main variants to choose from with the 1.8E CVT and the 1.5RS Turbo CVT. Both the 1.8E and 1.5RS Turbo can be optioned with Mugen or Modulo kits. Prices for the Hyundai Elantra starts at 908,000 pesos all the way to 1,158,000 pesos. As for the Civic, it can be yours for a base price of 1,103,000 pesos, while the top spec turbo with the Modulo Sport Pack is at 1,525,000 pesos. Honda Hyundai have showed us sedans worthy of your attention. With an impressive features list, comprehensive safety equipment, and stylish designs, the Civic and Elantra are just some of the cars that continue to elevate the compact sedan. These cars will definitely surpass your expectations. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2017 Bentley EXP12 Speed 6E concept. Watch this. 
An all-electric Bentley will not compromise the quality, refinement, and high-performance levels expected of the luxury brand. These renowned Bentley characteristics such as immediate, effortless surge of torque and grand touring range will be combined with new high-performance technologies such as rapid inductive charging and state-of-the-art onboard concierge-style services for an effortless ownership experience. A fusion of cutting-edge technology and beautiful materials are evident right throughout EXP 12-speed 6E's luxuriously appointed cabin, ensuring that the brand's use of technology is not cold or emotionless. The entire central console, for example, is hewn from a solid piece of elegantly curved glass encompassing a high-definition OLED screen. All of the car's principal onboard controls are accessible from here, including navigation, entertainment, and climate control. Handmade, cut-glass sections on the steering wheel contain the controls for media, communications, navigation, and car setup. There are also two buttons featured at the top of the cutaway steering wheel, one offering an instant performance boost and the other the ability to limit speed, in urban areas, for example. Exquisite copper elements around the gear selector, Bentley dynamic drive dial and indoor veneer panels are integrated into the cabin to highlight the electric performance potential of the concept's advanced new powertrain. On the outside, the iconic Bentley mesh grille features a complex 3D geometry and smoked finish with copper highlights that identify the Bentley EXP 12-speed 6E as a fully electric vehicle. When the car is running, the 6E logo eliminates in a striking, vibrant white. The exterior design is an expression of muscular, athletic surfaces inspired by contemporary architecture, the natural world, and the aerodynamic shapes of aircraft fuselages. It represents a natural evolution of Bentley's design DNA and signifies future design direction, taking the famous power line and haunch to new levels of drama and tension. When combined with muscular proportions and an athletic stance through the use of a short front overhang, long bonnet, low grille, and wide rear, the exterior styling hints at the high-performance potential of the car. Bentley believes that the concept will open discussions with luxury car buyers of the future, millennials, members of Generation C, and the rising affluent in developing economies to understand the desired expectations from a future electric luxury car ownership experience. The luxury brand's electric car strategy includes the introduction of PHEV models across the Bentley model range over the next few years, starting with a Bentayga in 2018. We'll have more news about the automobile and its industry after we pause for another short break. I'll be right back. Vote for your favorite car models and stand the chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your Automobile of the Year in this year's Autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use, flexible interior for your various needs, convenient features, advanced technology, powerful engine, fuel efficient for a smooth journey, and sleek design for you. The all-new Honda Mobilio.
sweet and you clean her seat. It's love. It's love. When you try to look cool, but you look like a fool, it's love. It's love. It's love. Show your love with the new features of the all new Innova. Love the journey. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Welcome back to AutoFocus, the show for the automobile enthusiast and back to more auto industry developments. Ford's 1.0 liter EcoBoost engine has been voted 2017 International Engine of the Year. Best engine under 1.0 liter for the sixth year in a row. The frugal three cylinder 1.0 liter EcoBoost engine was named best engine under 1.0 liter by a panel of 58 automotive journalists from 31 countries. This year, the sub 1.0 liter award category featured 35 engines, nine more than in the 1.0 liter EcoBoost debut year. The Ford's 1.0 liter EcoBoost engine is offered with 100 PS, 125 PS, and 140 PS. Ford EcoBoost petrol engines in capacities up to 3.5 liters deliver power and fuel efficiency to Ford vehicles around the world. The 1.0 liter EcoBoost engine featuring cylinder deactivation technology will be offered to customers in 2018. It will deliver reduced running costs for customers by automatically stopping one of the engine cylinders when full capacity is not needed, such as when coasting or cruising with light demand on the engine. Continuing, Toyota Motor Philippines recently updated the Toyota Wigo, dubbed as the brand's mini hatchback, which was first launched in 2014 and have sold a large number of units since its introduction in the country. The release specs of the new Wigo include a VVTi engine. In addition, according to Toyota, the latest generation retains its stable and comfortable ride through an optimized suspension geometry calibration for a smooth and relaxing drive. Toyota adds that the 2017 Wigo's design also now parades a sporty look with an updated version of its front bumper, grille, and alloy wheels. Moreover, the new Wigo is furnished with rear reflectors and outside mirror integrated signal lamps. For the interior, Toyota presented a new Wigo with new seat patterns and door trims and advanced features focusing on the customer's comfort. For more safety measures, the new Wigo is equipped with standard SRS airbags for both the driver and passenger. Advanced features include anti-lock brake system or the ABS that the customers can now use for all options. We have a lot more about the automobile coming up. In the meantime, here's our what and where to have them for our car enthusiasts on Automart. Here now is Automart with products and services geared toward the automobile enthusiasts. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains, for Motul's opening year promo of greatly reduced prices. 
find out, car aficionados do not patronize just any custom shop for upgrades. Speed Lab has been in the business of setting up and sprucing cars for so long that it has become an institution in the local motoring scene. Custom-built headers, racing filters, Unichip programming and installation, dyno testing are just some of their specialties, which also include preventive maintenance solutions, overhauls, fleet maintenance, and even fuel economy testing. For your next car upgrade, check out Speed Lab located at number 11, Pagataan Street, Banaue, Quezon City. Those who have similar notable products and services that appeal to auto enthusiasts, you can have them showcased on the Autofocus Automark. For placement, just call STV at 633-4422. Automark, products and services for the automobile enthusiasts. for your favorite car models and stand the chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your automobile of the year in this year's autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Creating an engine is like creating a great perfume. You need to select the best ingredients and combine them in a unique way. So it gives you a feeling you'll remember for the rest of your life. Peugeot 308 with Blue HDI and Turbo Petrol engines. window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. Welcome back to Autofocus, the electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. And up next is this edition's special feature. Isuzu Philippines Corporation recently took select members of the motoring media to Togigarao, Cagayan to experience the Isuzu Crosswind through a test drive.
Isuzu Philippines Corporation recently took select members of the motoring media to Tagagarao Cagayan to experience the Isuzu crosswind through a test drive. We are right now at the Santa Ana Cagayan for the 2017 Isuzu Crosswind Media Drive. Basically, this event is to let members of the motoring media test drive the 2017 variants of Isuzu Crosswind so they can have a first-hand experience on its performance and driving convenience. During the first day of the two-day event, the group drove around 130 kilometers from Tagagarao to Santa Ana Cagayan, onboard different variants of the crosswind. Through the media test drive, Isuzu Philippines showcased the power and torque of the vehicle that comes in five variants. On the second day, the group enjoyed a series of leisure activities such as game fishing, followed by island hopping, then trekking to Cape Engano Lighthouse. It's a very nice place actually. When I was talking about this event, we want to save the best for last. We started with our first media event in 2002. We took a few members of the media to Baguio with the crosswind. And almost every year, we have taken many members of the media all over the Philippines. So probably the crosswind is the vehicle for tourism, for visiting many of the beautiful places in the Philippines. We've been to Baguio, we've been to Palawan, we've been to uh, Cebu, I think even Samal Island, Dabao, Cordillera, Bicol. All these places were, were visited using the crosswind. The Isuzu Crosswind is one of Isuzu's longest-selling nameplates in the Philippines. Isuzu presents the 2017 Isuzu Crosswind as the perfect vehicle for getaways and short weekend drive, with class-leading third-row space perfect for fitting luggage of the passengers. One thing that we can say about the Crosswind is that uh, um, Isuzu is known for durability, fuel efficiency, and dependability. It can sit between 7 to 10 people. It's very flexible. It's a vehicle that you actually has some of the qualities of other types of vehicle like passenger cars, SUV because it's very rugged, pickup because you can actually load it up with things on the crosswind, and minivan because of the number of passengers. With this recent test drive that Isuzu had, the motoring media not only enjoyed the ride with the crosswind, but also amazed in the beauty of Palawi Island. We come now to the final page of our electronic magazine as we again put on the spotlight concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. This time we train the spotlight on a 2017 Infinity QX50 concept. Let's take a look. 
an evolution of the 2016 QX Sport Inspiration, the QX50 concept shows how the design of its conceptual forebear could be adapted for a future production model in the world's fastest-growing vehicle segment. Infinity's latest concept confidently articulates the artistic influence of the designer through the brand's powerful elegance design language. A cabin-forward silhouette combines with taut, muscular lines and flowing surfaces telegraph, making it a dynamic and practical SUV. The organic forms of the driver-centric, passenger-minded cabin harmonize with the exterior, blending progressive design with elevated levels of modern craftsmanship. The QX50 concept's interior reflects Infinity's desire to challenge conventional approaches to premium interior design. Infinity's QX50 concept also previews the brand's rollout of its autonomous drive support technologies. Central to the strategy for the development of all future autonomous drive support systems is that they should ensure the driver retains ultimate control over their vehicle, in keeping with Infinity's focus on driver engagement, while providing a proactive approach to safety. Infinity's autonomous drive technologies will act as a co-pilot for the driver, empowering rather than replacing them, and delegate more onerous driving tasks to the car, such as navigating stop-start traffic on the highway or keeping track of the positions of surrounding vehicles. The production-ready 2.0-liter VC turbo engine represents a compelling alternative to diesel powertrains. Using an innovative multi-link system, the VC turbo engine is able to adapt its compression ratio according to driving conditions to deliver optimal levels of performance and efficiency. By seamlessly raising or lowering the reach of the pistons, it instantly selects the most suitable compression for current driving conditions. The engine is able to offer any compression ratio between 8 to 1 for high performance and 14 to 1 for high efficiency. Infinity's VC Turbo technology marks a significant leap forward for the internal combustion engine, joining other renowned powertrain innovations such as liquid cooling, fuel injection, catalytic converters, and turbocharging. The arrival of the VC Turbo will establish new benchmarks for power, efficiency, and emissions, against which future powertrains will be measured. With this recent test drive that Isuzu had, the motoring media not only enjoyed the ride with the crosswind, but also amazed in the beauty of Palawi Island. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out in our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Butch Gambo.